Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at the October-November 2016 IGCSE ICT Paper 2. And um, in the last couple of videos, we've been looking at document production and um, data manipulation. In this video, we're going to take a focus on uh, MailMage. And um, so the, the, the scenario is that you are required to carry out a mail match to create a checklist for use during the induction of new staff. So 20, step 26 says use the file n216checklist.rtf as the master document for the mail match and the file n216newstaff.csv as the data source. So let's go ahead and open this file. So checklist, double click on it and um, go ahead and import um, the source file go to um, uh, edit an existing list and then browse to the location where your files are saved um, on your computer mine so they're on the desktop and paper too and um, go ahead and open new stuff okay so once we do that then let's go back to the question paper it says replace um, rather in the master document replace date with a field to display today's date in the format and that's the format there that you have DD MM and why 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 <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and uh, get this one and uh, go to insert uh, go to quick parts and insert field okay so pick up the date and um, select the date here that you want so I want this date and take note of the format that this date is taken okay so there are other formats that are here okay but um, the format in question is this one you can also check the field codes down here just click here and you'll see how this field code will look if if at all you were asked to take a screenshot um, it should look something like this okay um, so go ahead and say okay so there you go the date has been inserted let's go back to the question okay so um, insert the marriage fields first name last name job title line manager start date department course course date location from the data source file where um, indicated okay so let's go ahead and just replace these okay see this is one of the most easiest things that you can do um, under mail mage okay so go to mailings again insert marriage field this we're talking about first name okay then get the last name um, last name then get the job title um, job title is here then get um, start date um, then department and um, line manager okay so we're done with this um, upper part scroll down until we get to the section where we now need to um, do um, we now need to do for these other ones here so let's go for course um, then we need to do for course date and we need to do for location okay so we are done replacing all of them just verify that um, you have actually replaced all of them and um, go back to the question next step include your name center number and candidate number in the footer of the document so go to insert and this time around you're inserting a footer blank three column type your name here chikasa evans and um, zm556 and also 0001 okay so done with this one next step place in your evidence document screenshots showing evidence of the format of the date used now what you need to do is to show the field codes uh, for this one if you need to do that. there are two ways that you can do that you can either tap uh, out key on your keyboard let me just do this so you can tap um, out key plus um, F9 on your keyboard and that is going to do that alternatively you can go to file on your menu there then from file go to advanced I think and then go to show 
and then look out for something to do with field codes I think should be uh, either the last option I'm not so sure exactly but I don't use that option uh, very much when I can <laughs> possibly use alternative F9 um, but there is a feature like that uh, okay so let's go to yeah if you go to file then options I forgot about this one should be file options and then like that but we can demonstrate that let's do that go to file then go to options and then um, uh, go to advanced then scroll down to show document content and the last one here which will show field codes instead of their values just check it and say okay and you'll see that it shows the field codes instead of their values and there you go with a dead field so alternatively you can hold alternative plus f9 and you can switch between these okay so i'm just tapping f9 whilst holding alternative button on my keyboard and that is that so i'm going to take this as the screenshot of the dead format okay just take this okay and that's my screenshot of the dead format copy it let's go and open our evidence document and um, we're going to paste that we're going to paste that dead field and paste it here okay so next step um, we're done with evidence 10 next step insert the image n216 logo.jpg in an appropriate position and format the image so that it is resized to four um, a width of so four centimeters let's go ahead and just insert the image first of all before we come to the properties of this image um, so we're going to insert this image somewhere um, so I'm just going to put my cursor here and then go to insert um, pictures and um, we browse to the location where um, my files are saved and um, we are looking for the logo image just insert it there okay so let's go back here so don't do anything so um, question says that um, you resize it to a width of four centimeters and maintain its aspect ratio so let's do that right click and size and position um, go to size make sure that aspect ratio is locked down here and then resize it to um, a width of four centimeters so width make it four centimeters now some of you you might have inches here um, instead of showing four centimeters it's showing four inches please go to file um, options and then uh, advanced then scroll down to display and find a section that has to do with show you measurements in units of centimeters otherwise everything's gonna be messed up if this part is in um, inches okay so that has been reduced next we need to make sure that the image does not overlap any items on the document so um, let's do uh, right click on it go to text wrap and select square maybe and then just position it nicely I'm going to position it on top there um, it looks nice like it's a company logo that looks beautiful okay so make sure that um, uh, where we save and print the master document with the merge field displayed okay so this one we would need to print it with the merge fields first and then printouts um, this is printout four make sure that you have entered your name center number and candidate number master document we just did that so I'm just going to so these are the merge fields okay um, and go ahead and just print this file I'm not going to print this file um, because my printer is off anyway um, it will take a while for me to get it on maybe a minute or so so let, let's save on time okay so that is that part so you can go ahead and print that that and then step 28 says that merge the checklist for only those applicants who need to attend the induction course okay um, okay so only applicants who need to induct, uh, attend the induction course and then you need to show evidence um, uh, place in your evidence document screenshots showing your selection methods so go ahead and do that so to do that go back to mailings and um, I think edit li uh, recipient um, uh, list then you can if you want you can go ahead and just select only those that show induction so where is induction induction is here so you have the first one the um, third last one and the last one and there you go you can tick if you want and check these okay now what is important um, just go ahead and use filter and then the field that you want is um, um, let me just verify the field name where induction is where is that it's here it's induction so the field is um, course okay so go ahead on filter and get course 
so the cost should be equal to induction okay so go ahead and say okay and you see that only three fields will be selected okay so now we were told that we need to show evidence so before I even close this window let me just get a screenshot of this okay just get a screenshot of this copy it and um, paste it on uh, step number let's just say okay okay and paste it on step number so that is the selection method okay so cause equal to um, induction okay so we, this is this is good um, next we need to print out these okay so again after you print uh, you select that you need to switch back to the fields now the match fields and um, um, go to preview results and then you can go ahead and print now these okay so these ones they are just showing uh, induction as um, um, induction as the course that is shown there so you see company induction training company induction training everything will have to do with company induction training as you can see at the bottom here okay so these are the files that you need to merge to finish and merge and then print them as they are I'm not going to do that um, <laughs> yeah but uh, you can click here finish them and then print all of them okay there'll be about three pages since there are three letters um, next we need to um, print only the merged checklist for the selected applicants we just talked about this in step um, in step 29 um, just from talking about that and make sure that that is safe so the next last thing that you just need to do is to save and close the files so after you're done with that um, step 30 says evaluate the suitability of this checklist for use with its intended audience identify any improvements which could be made and um, give um, give um, give reasons okay and so you just need to type this in no more than hundred um, no more than hundred words so you look at the things like why is this um, um, uh, mail mage suitable why is it not suitable for the audience what's an improvement and stuff like that okay so um, the other thing is um, let's go ahead and type that um, so under step um, 30 the evidence so you look at um, the things that you 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 would want to see improved on this so for example to have a look at this you have one inconsistent um, font sizes and font um, styles okay and then there are some things that have been listed um, like down here it's a listing it would have been nice to put these in um, in um, bullets uh, form and also the headings should be um, the the company heading this one should be in capital bold and stuff like that um, you can also put um, some um, tick boxes if, if, if I there will be some selections to be um, to be made um, that is you can also print out some uh, electronic stuff or electronic um, mails or email them and not just print them out and um, on the positive side is that um, these letters they are actually personal and I think this is one of the powerful features of MailMage is that in that um, you do not have to retype same letter over and over to uh, different people um, you just create one which is like a template and then the other letters are going to inherit the features from there so they are both uh, things there that are. so let's go ahead and uh, put some weaknesses and uh, things that can be improved here so there is um, inconsistency in call inconsistency or inconsistency in the um, font style if you want and sizes this can be improved by using uh, one font style maybe and size the heading or title can also be made bigger okay or larger if you want okay so improve this can be improved okay so the other thing that also we we can talk about is that um, um, if you go back to this uh, document you'll see some things like here that is this stuff underlined information is underlined so generally you can tell that um, this document um, was never proofread. The, uh, the document 
um, has a number of um, a number of errors okay so the author should have proof read the document before printing it and in this case you are the author <laughs> you should have proofread this document before printing it okay so there'll be that so there are a number of things also guys that you can you can you can um, you can suggest um, have a look at the document once more you will see that the alignment is also inconsistent and um, there are things that you can do to make this document okay so I'm not going to spend so much time doing that um, so you guys can go ahead and do that so this is the section on mailmage and there you go with the 14 max and um, so I'll end here and uh, let me do quickly uh, a video on presentation to wind up on this paper so that we can start uh, looking at um, the paper 3 and um, so um, I'll see you sh in a short while uh, remember to subscribe like comment and um, share this video with others and I'll see you just shortly